Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I pray that the favor of God is falling fresh upon your life. I'm Bishop Arnold right here at Grace United Church here in the great city of Little Rock, Arkansas. Well, as always, excited about the Word of God. This morning we're looking at Acts chapter number 5, verses 1 through 5. I'm going to read a, for a portion of those verses. Here is what it says. But there was a certain man named Ananias who, with his wife, Sapphira, sold some property and brought part of the money to the apostles, claiming it was the full amount. <laughs> With the consent of his wife, he kept the rest. Wow. We're going to stop right there. Uh, the moral of these verses, especially verses 1 through 5, is really don't lie to God. <laughs> don't lie to God. Um, uh, the rest of these verses tell us as a result of that, the judgment of God came very swift and immediate into both of their lives. They fell dead as a result of what? Their deception. Their deception. Hallelujah. Uh, the, the apostles told him, look, this was your land, this was your money, and you had a right to do whatever you, you know, wanted to do, but instead you fix your heart to lie to God and the Holy Spirit. Oh, my God. We, we don't ever need to deceive and practice deception because it is not of God. And as a result of their deception, swift, swiftly and quickly came the judgment of God. Wow, the divine discipline. Uh, Peter confronts them, and uh, as a result, and this is what I like about what happened, as a result of Peter being connected with God, it gave him uh, the discernment to distinguish between what was of God and what was not, what was truth and what was false. Hallelujah. I believe that God has put within each and every one of us the Holy Spirit so that we can understand the difference between right and wrong, what is of God and what is not of God. And so as a result of their deception, all of a sudden the divine judgment of God came into their lives in such a swift and quick way. But guess what? It also brought about deliverance to the rest of the family of faith. As a result of that, the Bible says great fear came upon the church. And as a result of that, as you read the rest of this chapter, all of a sudden God continued to move with signs and wonders in the body of Christ. So the moral of this story? Don't lie to God. Let's pray. God, we love you, Lord. And God, we pray that you would continue to pur purify us from any spirit of deception, any spirit of deceit, that we may walk uprightly before you and be a blessing to you and a blessing to others. Thank you, Lord, as we go through this day. Bless us like only you can. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God keep you. That's my prayer.